Hello everybody and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Boy, it has been a long time since we've been in an Ian Roberts Transport Scania. We're driving one of Ian Roberts trucks today. I bet the man is really, really worried that Wobbly is in one of his trucks. We're going to take it for a run. Now, we've got this event going. Ah, uh, delivering covid vaccinations so we need to find a trailer so you need to um, connect your world of trucks profile to pick this event up there we go there's one covid vaccinations we will take that one that will do and it's a trip to paris so we're currently in dover so that's handy dover to paris no doubt we might have a six hour wait to get over the channel with it being Brexit and all that, but hey ho, such is life. Right, so let's go chaps, let's go pick up our trailer. It's been a long time since I played this, I can't remember where all the buttons are or what they do, but all we need is a steering wheel, an accelerator, a clutch Turn and a brake. Oh, what's she saying? I've got the uh, I've got the voice navigation on. That's going to annoy me. Ambulance crew there. Ambulance crew giving way to me. Obviously recognise a skilled Keep driver right. there. And then turn right. Turn right. Oh, we're in the wrong lane. Check the mirror. Let the ambulance crew past. I can't understand the words she's saying. Is she speaking English? Ready to turn left. Turn left. Turn left. We are finished. We are finished. I bet whoever does the voiceover for that audio has heard that quite a few times. We are finished. She is really stern, isn't she? Right, let's uh Let's attach this trailer. Like I say, I've not played this for a long time, so I've got mods in here. I don't know if they're going to work, actually. Um, I've obviously got the voice navigation on. I could do with getting rid of that. Uh, I've forgotten where all the buttons are, even though they are all mapped. But, like I say, we only need the steering wheel, the gears, pedals. And we know where them are. Right, let's try and get this. What's going on here? That looks spot on to me. We've got a broken fifth wheel, I think. <laughs> why aren't we? Why haven't I got that trailer? Let's jiggle it around. Let's give it a wiggle. It's just a game, isn't it? Come on, why haven't we got that? I'm in a bit of trouble getting it in there, Wobbles. I could say something to that, but uh, it's a Peggy rated free game, isn't it? So we try to keep it family oriented. What is going on here? It, this truck does not want to go underneath. That, oh, that looks a little bit off. Let's try again. I know it's been a long time that we've. You know that I have not played this game, but we should be able to at least attach the trailer. What's going on here? It's not having it. I ain't got a license, driver. What's going on here? Just well, go under. Why won't it go under? Look at that. The trailer's too low. Give it a bash, Wobbles. Smash it in. I tell you what, whoever dropped that trailer must have had a really small truck. The legs are really low on it. We should get out and lift the legs up. We need to lift it up a bit more. Let's give it a smash. Come on, get in there, Wobbles. Get 
CM Roberts is panicking now. Me scared you, me scared you, me beautiful scared you. I knew I shouldn't have given it wobbly to drive. Right, smash it in, wobbles. Just smash it in. We got it. Fifth wheel's broke. Got some grease on it, wobbles. A little bit off. Slightly off, it looked like. Smash it in, it don't matter, it's Ian Roberts truck. Smash it in. No. It's not having it. Holy for hope. Oh, well, we've got Bob Hope with attaching the trailer at the moment. Come on, get it in, Bobbles. Time Ooh. to get the job done. There we go. Even the sat nav voice kicked in there. We've got it. At last. Right, so we've got our trailer. It's a hauling for hope event. If you play this game, you've probably all done it by now. But we've got till February, February sometime. Um, to complete this event and we've got to deliver seven trailers without Get damp, ready. without Turn damp, right. I wish she'd shut up, without Turn damp, right. I wish she, she'd really do me head in now, she keeps interrupting me, how rude, um, so yeah we've got to deliver seven trailers without damaging them, and then we get a little hanging garment to go in, go in the cabins, or in the cabin of our truck once we have completed it and this event it runs both on Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator Keep left. What's going on here? We've got a coach driver here who I think wishes maybe he was a truck driver. I think he just wants to have a look at our magnificent Scania. Oh, he's decided to go now. What we've got is a police car there. We don't want to hit that. We do not want to damage the trailer either. Exit now. If we damage the trailer, I don't think when we get to the destination it's counted in the in the uh, in the event I think we've got to take the trailer and actually get it there undamaged get ready to turn right The horn actually sounds quite good, doesn't it? I don't know if that's a standard, the standard air horns that are available in game. I really don't know. Like I say, I have got quite a few mods running, but I don't know if we've got one for the air horns. But I quite like the sound of them air horns, whereas I do not like the sound of this truck. It is horrendous. It sounds like a tractor. No, in fact, a tractor would probably sound better. I don't know if this is a sound mod I've got it. I've actually got in. That's gone wrong. Because I don't think I've played this game since version 1.38 or 1.37. We're on version 1.39 now. But it sounds horrible. I could not drive this all day long. I like the truck, I hate the sound of it. It's terrible. It must be a mod. We'll have to sort that out. Or have a look at it at a later date. Viewed it! It's horrible. 
Oh, sounds horrible. We're now making our way down to the uh, the Euro Tunnel, I think. Which, according to recent newspapers, is in financial difficulty. It's called the Euro Star. A lot of people are now calling it for to be called the Brit Star because they want uh, they want the UK to bail it out. The Brit Star. Get ready to turn right. Maybe they'll rename it Brit Euro or Euro Brit Euro Brit Star. Oh, I don't know. Turn right. Channel tunnel, so we're here. Right, where do we go? Which one do we go in? Sat nav is shut up. Not that one. Not that one. Next one's got the uh, got a green arrow, I think. It'll be, it'll be this one here. Well, there's no queues, is there? I don't know what all the fuss is on the news about trucks queuing up. Look at this, it's easy. Just drive in here. No border control either. There's no border control coming into the country though, is there? It seems any, anybody can just sw <laughs> come across that channel and land on the south coast. Look at that. Just as easy getting out of the country. Right, where are we going? That one, click that, do that. Off we go. Finding a new route. So this could ready to turn left. Every time I talk, she opens her mouth. Right, so this could be interesting because we're in a right-hand drive vehicle with this being a UK um, truck, so just makes it a little bit more slightly uh, difficult actually in the game. 
tried to uh, just to see through the uh, the offside mirror there, or the near side mirror as it would be in the UK. So. Many people who play this game don't actually drive a right-hand drive um, truck throughout Europe. It's a lot more easier to drive the, uh, the left-hand drive, the left-hand drive ones in the actual game than what it is to drive the right-hand drive ones in the game once you uh, once you get into uh, good old Europe. Got some sort of uh, incident here. Road traffic accident. Get your money out. Ticket, ticket, give me a ticket. <laughs> I'm just wondering how robust. Have you seen the door? If you look at the door and the door card, you've got all them buttons. Um, you've got your window controls and even I think you've even got your light switch uh, on there now window controls pretty normal I suppose but to have the light switch and a few other things on that door card there I wonder how robust them are because from my experience they get all mopped up Window is often down. You get the rain coming in. They get wet. They get grubby. You know, I'm just wondering how robust them are. Them actual switches and how well made they actually are. Particularly the light switch. You don't want the light switch failing. wondering in a couple of years time as these trucks get old in real life how often they would have to change them switch them particularly the light switch there I'm pretty sure the light switch is on there I think when I've switched the lights on I've seen the light switch actually come on there actually move oh whilst I ah! he tried to he tried brake check me there Nearly ran in the back of that truck with Billy. <laughs> yeah, I think we would have failed. 
the uh, only for hope event there. I think we would have probably have damaged the trailer. That was that was what you call a close shave. But did you notice the professional reaction? I quickly checked the mirror before I went into the other lane. I didn't just go ah and swerve. Being a pro, I did check the mirror. <laughs> Don't want to kill anybody, do we? It's just a game, Wobbles. It's just a game. It's a toy truck. It's not a real one. In fact, it's not even a toy truck, is it? It's Pixel Trucking! If you're still here and you haven't switched off within the first two minutes of the video, smack the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and uh, let me know in the comment section below. Do more Euro Truck Simulator 2, wobbly, and we'll do another one of these videos. I'll probably do another one anyway, but uh, if we get enough likes, I'll do I'll do them. Um, Probably more regularly than what I have been doing. Who knows, I might even go back on Stobarts. That'd be a thing, wouldn't it? Ticket! Show us your ticket! <laughs> We were committed there, it went on a yellow. We didn't get 
a fine though. Sometimes you get a fine if you run a yellow, don't you? Oh, we'll have to stop for this one. Go straight on. is totally blown way out of scale in this game. <laughs> You'd only have to be a truck driver for a couple of weeks in this game and you'd be a millionaire. Unlike real life, you'd have to work as a truck driver for about 50 years probably. <laughs> and you still wouldn't be and you still wouldn't be a millionaire. Get ready to turn right. Right, so I'm guessing it's uh, it's in here. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. So it's possibly round the back of this building where we've got to uh, drop this trailer. Let's see how difficult this is going to be. Well, it's not difficult, is it? It's just a game, isn't it? It doesn't matter if we hit anything. Although, on this event, it probably will. We don't want to damage the trailer. Oh, so that's nice and easy. That's, sim that's a simple, that's a simple manoeuvre. What you're doing in the mirrors is the uh, is the most difficult thing in this game because they're all quite small. Give it a little wiggle, straighten it up, wobbles. I don't think we can go forward anymore, so I think we're on the fence, on the wall there. We just uh, we just back it up, and uh, that should be it. So there we go folks, I don't know if that's been entertaining, but uh, a little run in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Let's see if we got an excellent, yes there we go, so that should have been counted. That's my first, my first drop on this hauling for hope event, delivering the Covid vaccinations in Euro Truck Simulator 2. And there you go, that's my first one, so yeah. That's all folks, stay safe.